systems engineering capstone design team is at Impossible City um, on the old Ford Ward doing a simulated search and rescue mission with an unmanned ground vehicle and an unmanned aerial vehicle. The students were tasked to develop a scenario where they need to find uh, this wounded soldier somewhere in the area and then recover it. So we were launching several uh, different size unmanned systems to survey the area, to create the three-dimensional map, to create the road map, and then to actually find the wounded soldier and then navigate the ground vehicle to this soldier. I'm the team lead for the group, and primarily I worked on doing the coding for the navigation side of the robot. So I did the, the hard structure that uh, everything kind of ran through uh, coding-wise. I'm the ground controller for the UAV and I developed some algorithm to look for the person in distress. My role was to help develop the wireless network in order for a command and control station to communicate with the unmanned ground vehicle. So the idea was, you know, to cover a relatively large area in the urban environment like we have here. We need to have a good uh, representation of this area to develop the paths, the routes. You know, in the future we intend to fly inside the buildings as well. It was a successful test. We had some issues with connectivity as far as video feed, but all in all we were able to get it to drive to the location we wanted it to go. Um, and then we were able to manually control the robots to identify where the PID was located. So one use of this search and rescue mission can be put to use in the real uh, environment, perhaps maybe in the operational war zone when a soldier is in distress and the troops are unable to go in to rescue them, we can send in our man technology as a safety measure to look at the area, to look for targets and eventually uh, detect the person who, who are in need of help. This uh, uh, has been accomplished today uh, successfully and uh, in the future we would like to incorporate more uh, video streams from the ground vehicle as well and to be able to process it in the air.